Bible says you got three parts, spirit, soul, and body. It's obvious that your body and your soul didn't change, so that just leaves your spirit. Your spirit is the part of you that when you got born again, old things passed away and all things became new. In your spirit, you literally passed from death unto life. You had a spirit, and I had not got time to explain these things. I'll just say it, and um, praise God, you can go study it out on your own. But your spirit was dead, separated from God, dead in trespasses and sins. It's your spirit that motivated you to live in sin. Your spirit was actually a child of the devil, separated from God and united with the devil. Your spirit was what made you who you are. It says in James chapter 2, verse 26, as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. That scripture reveals that your spirit is what gives life to your body. God created Adam and Eve, and they had a body and soul, but he breathed into them the breath of life. And when the spirit entered into them is what made Adam and Eve alive. The spirit is what gives you life, and yet, when we sinned, our spirit became united with the devil instead of God. And so it was pouring the nature of the devil into us. You were by nature a child of the devil, even as others. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. So you were dead in your spirit. But when you got born again, you were completely changed in your spirit. Your body's not changed. Your soul's not changed. They've been purchased and they will be redeemed in the future. But right now, you still have a corruptible body and a corruptible mind, emotion, the soul realm. But your spirit was completely changed. And I'm just laying a foundation in this class. The next time I teach on spirit, soul, and body, we'll start going into more detail about what actually happened. But this is what turned my life around is because I realized that there was a new me that I never knew about because I'd only tried to perceive him by feelings. I thought if God was really with me and if God really loved me and if God really was pleased with me, I'd feel it. That's not true. It's something you have to learn. And you have to go by what the Word says. You have to hold the mirror, the spiritual mirror up. And in, I don't care what you feel like, you go by what the Word says. It is spirit and it is life. And I just go by what the Word says. And I begin to start changing. And, and even though I didn't feel anything, I started speaking about myself, what God said about me and believing what the Word said. And the victory that I've had in my Christian life is on learning who I am in Christ in the spirit realm, recognizing that that cannot be felt or seen or perceived with just physical, natural things. It's something I have to go to the Word of God and just believe it.